finals, last map. The winner of this is going to be the champion, and we are live. That was an interesting little move there for Avec. I thought he was going to peek down and try to do some damage down by Mega, but he's got red armor, he's got LG. And he's uh, already tried to take position. In fact, he's got the yellow away as well. Looking at Cypher, obviously. Wow. Only, a, only mega. a mega. Yeah, but he's got position on red. So let's see if he can use it with the rocket launchers. He's uh, With the rocket, sorry. He's uh, only got the one rocket launcher. Four rockets left. And he's just going to try and play around the red. Yes, it's a three good rockets and a oh. Rogan. And that's going to cripple Avec, surely. And Cypher thinks he can actually pick up the kill and the mega. I'm not sure where Avec is. He is above him. Cypher hits another Rogan. And there comes, oh, a possible... Oh. And he, had he kept the Rogan out, he would have got the kill, I'm sure. And uh, looking at Avec, Avec, you know, after picking up the Mega, you know, he's now got himself up to 100 health. So I'm sure that could have been a kill for Cypher, and it should have been. So unlucky from Cypher, but he's doing great so far. Great rockets and from Avec there, and he'll take the lead here in the final map on DM6. And out of the maps that we've seen so far, of course, it's Avec that's had the uh, better start in all but, DM, uh, all but Tawny 9. A little bit of machine work there off the spawn from Cypher. And they're going to hang around here for this Mega. Avec is down on the spawn, will collect. And that Red Armor not up for a good few seconds. So he's going to keep himself a little bit hidden. Trying not to get spammed too hard from Bridge. And there is the Red Armor now on its platform. Picked up by Avec. And there's plenty of time now, of course, until this next Mega's in play. And it'll spawn at the same time as the Red Armor. So that'll give both of these players the opportunity maybe to spread out one on each power-up um, and try and get back into the game for Cypher. Yeah, Cypher barely missing a rocket onto Avec, but he's only got the 50 armor. If we uh, switch over to Avec, you can see you know, he is on the Mega now. He's uh, looking good to get these power-ups. He's going to get the uh, Mega. Let's see if he's going to get on the red, and that's very important. You know, It was the opportunity that Cypher could have got a power-up, as Joe mentioned, but not going to be able to do so. So now we have Avec, you know, 170, 170. And that's a big armor stack and health um, compared to Cypher, who's only got 50 armor. And he's looking to try and get on the yellow. <laughs> uh, Avec, Mr. Rao, Cypher's going to be very very happy of that situation. But the game will slow down now because Cypher won't want to show himself. He's going to want to play real safe. He cannot let, um, he can't let Avec, you know, do damage to him. And he's on the Mega. And somehow Cypher looks like he's going to win this Mega. Oh. Look at the LG, picks up the Mega. One rocket will kill and he gets the kill. And Cypher, he puts the rocket behind um, Avec, which is actually, I don't know if he was, was accidental or not, but the fact is by putting the rocket behind Avec, he avoided hitting himself with the rocket launcher, which would have killed him on 22 health. So either Cypher's a genius, or he just, you know, sometimes just knows constantly what to do, or that was, uh, you know, just worked out perfectly for him. But either way, he's got himself a frag, and he's back in the map. Nice aggression there, actually, from Avic. Going to push him off. Will he be able to survive Whoa. for the red? No, he won't. Perfectly timed drop was uh, obviously countered there by Cypher. Mega health is on its platform and collected by Avic. Surely the rocket jump will see. Yes, we will. As the uh, armor, of course, all go into Cypher at the minute. Only shards. Yeah, but look for at Avec. this. Avec has, a, a, you know, he's real healthy. Beautiful. He's got 186 health and he's got 25 armor. He's got position to catch Cypher with the LG. He's already done some damage. Good rocket from Cypher. And no, nope, a little bit too early there. He couldn't get on the red. And that's two red armors that Avec has committed to. But he's just been killed, like, you know, a split second before it spawned. So. I, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to attack the, ne the next red because he hasn't done enough, n enough damage to Cypher. But knowing Avec, you know, he probably will try it. So let's see if he can get in position again. He's trying to keep Cypher at bay. Five seconds until the red spawns. Avec is in position. Looks like he is going to win it. And here he comes. Great play from Avec. Cypher's LG, though, is surely winning. And he picks up the kill with 43 health. But this is where Avec can get the comeback frag. We got a 4-1 score. Um, Avec gets the yellow armor, and this means that he's going to rush. And here comes the kill. Great play from Avec. He attacked red armor three times in a row to die. And now he's going to pick up the kills two in a row, just because, you know, that is such well played from Avec. Such, you know, great play on this map. But he's given away a red. And we are back at a very even game now in terms of health and armor for both of these players. Avec has a slight advantage, but only a one frag lead for Cypher. One frag with five and a half minutes remaining here on DM6. Ten seconds for that red armor. Avec's given his position away if Cypher's anywhere near Cypher him. Cypher has a railgun, Avec doesn't. Rocket spammed up and down from both players. Red armor is on its platform. It's collected by Avec and he gets away very, very cleanly. 
Mega Health is next, of course, in play, and I think making a risky move there, moving up the jump pad. In the end, Cypher had already turned his back anyway, so Avex certainly in control of this map. If we look over at Cypher, his armor fairly good. Those rails are going to help to neutralize the health and armor that Avex managed to uh, get together in this one, but here comes an aggressive Avex, but look at the rockets again from Cypher, connecting the rail misses. And the red armor was collected there by Avex, who comes flying around the corner with just a machine gun. He's able to bring us back to a tied scoreline, 4-4. We've gone past the halfway point. Yeah, and uh, that was one of the first mistakes I saw from Cypher this game. Um, as he, he actually is going to win the Mega, so, you know, a 4-4 game, we're, we're even again. But Cypher actually going, you know, to kind of spam Plasma at the, the Red Armor, um, you know, um, he shouldn't have even been there. And he does challenge uh, the Red Armor here, and Ave gets the kill. But, you know, when Cypher had that Railgun, um, he should have used it from a distance, but... You know, that's, that's what Avic was thinking. Avic dropped down uh, towards the railgun area where Cypher could have been railing. And then Cypher went, you know, just underneath the RA. And that was, or underneath bridge, sorry, which was a, a bad position to be in. So he, <laughs> I think Cypher's given away the lead, so, somewhat to speak. And he's got himself another Mega. So this is great for Cypher as long as he gets a yellow. Because then, once again, we are very evenly stacked. We can't afford to get railed here. Cypher doesn't have a rail. And uh, that was lucky for Cypher that um, Avic didn't hit. And Cypher needs to go challenge this red armor. Or he can take a little time, but I think a good challenge here is a, a good decision. And Cypher's above red armor. Brilliant play from Cypher. He should be winning that red, and that's going to put him in control. Yep, those crucial oh. rails miss. Great shot, though, with just the top of Cypher's head showing there for Avic. And he's perfectly timed down onto Mega. Here's the uh, fight that may change how this one is. That rocket actually just catching Avec as he dropped down from the jump. But he's back fairly healthy now at 120 and 50. Oh, wow. Good rocket from Avec. That's going to send Cypher away. And I think um, Cypher will probably end up dying here. And yes, he does. Avec hits the railgun. And, you know, getting Avec off this map is going to be so difficult for Cypher. Avec has a time on Mega. He has time on Red Armor. I don't know if Cypher has a Mega time. We can see Avec does as he drops down and picks it up. Cypher needs to do something magical. He needs his rockets. He needs some sort of crazy aim to come out because otherwise this, would go, this could go from bad to worse. But there's uh, at least a little bit of opportunity um, to do some damage onto Avec, but it doesn't really hurt him. Oh no, Cypher. Risky, risky move. And this... Uh, We'll have to see if Avec is going to capitalize because Cypher has only 62 health. Here comes the aggressive move, and look at that for a rocket from Cypher. We've seen him do that before. Wow. Yeah, that rocket, it was, he just heard the rocket jump. He wasn't even looking there, and then actually flicked you know, and shot the rocket. So that was probably one of the best rockets so far of the tournament. And it's given him always you know, that little bit of extra time. You know, he's not yeah. allowing Avec to push him around yet. But the trouble is, is Cypher doesn't have enough armor to push Avec off the top. You know, push him off the control. And this is going to be bad for Cypher. Avec sees him as Cypher comes up the stairs. He is going to be trapped now. And this, uh, and lucky for Cypher that Avec is down to the bottom. Uh, Avec does hit the shots. And the trouble is, is look, Avec's got just enough time to get to the Mega. So Cypher has absolutely nothing. He needs to get this yellow. Avec going to go for the shots up there. Mega collected. He spots where Ooh. Cypher's gone. Cypher almost has 100 armor, but he's going to try and push an attack on red. Two frag difference. Cypher going to have to start to make his way for these next couple of power-ups. Maybe that next Mega after another yellow is where he needs to go. And actually, the red armor's there. Cypher's going to take this as an opportunity. Gets in there. The LG is wow. absolutely he's brilliant. Now. And this is where Cypher may wow. just have turned the tables. Yeah, Cypher has actually just taken back map control from attacking that red armor, you know, with only 70 armor of his own. And he's just oh. hit a railgun shot. And this is important. Cypher knows he can get the kill. He's now got himself onto the Mega. He's going to rocket jump up. Can he find Avec? Avec hears him. And he's above him. He's trying to not get hit. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. Misses the railgun shot. And Avec might still be there. No, he's at the bottom. And Avec hits one oh. and two. And Cypher knows his chance is gone. And Avec getting that kill had only 62 health. So that railgun shot would have killed him. And uh, Cypher, unfortunately, you know, as, as magical as some of his shots are, whatever he was uh, doing right before, he just ran out of. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are going to have um, 
You know, unfortunately for Cypher, he's not going to win, but unfortunately very much so for Avec and also Serious Gaming, um, who uh, you know sponsor both these guys or host them, and they are sponsored by Razer as well. They're going to have a great tournament, but it looks like Avec is going to be the champion here of the Quake Live Kaspersky yeah. Championships. Three to two. I think he's doing that. All right. Thanks for a very entertaining final. Avic standing victorious. I'm standing here with Cypher. You, it was a very, 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 very good final. We, uh, I believe the entire audience enjoyed it, but one went wrong in the end. I don't know really. I can't say anything, but I make uh, mistakes which cost me the game, and uh, also my chick play very good. And I just can't, can't uh, hold it, and uh, he won the deserve win. All right. So I know that. <laughs> I asked Avic early if he was afraid if you wouldn't talk to him. Are you mad at him? Uh, no, one cigarette and everything okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Big round of applause for Cypher. He won't leave empty handed. He still won 15,000 crowns here at the Kaspersky Quake Live tournament, a dream hack. But of course, now over to the winner from Poland, Avic. So, first of all, the obvious question, how does it feel? Uh, I have no words. It's uh, such a great feeling and, uh, yeah, I can't say anything. Is it always a little bit fun, uh, I, I mean, more amusing beating Cypher than anyone else? Uh, I think he's uh, the best player right now in the world. And maybe Rafa can beat him, but uh, yeah, in my opinion, he's the most complete uh, player in the world right now. So it's a uh, yeah, really nice feeling uh, to win. All right, a, a lot of humble words here today. So with, here you go, the check from Kaspersky, Quake Live tournament here at DreamHike. Big round of applause for Avic.